All right, let's go ahead and begin by standing nice and tall on our mats. Let's lift up onto our toes, back onto our heels. Just wake up your feet. I like to do this in the beginning of practice because our feet are our foundation. And so it's nice to wiggle those toes and really set that foundation. Ankles, hips, knees align. Draw the navel in, sternum up, shoulders down. So as we stand here, really pressing into our feet, lift your toes, spread them wide, and press all four corners of your feet to the floor. It's just the balls of your feet and the heels. The four corners meet to spread those toes and place them onto your mat. Energetically move the energy up, lifting those kneecaps up. Engaging the banda, the first banda, the pelvic floor, mula banda. And then again, that navel stays in towards the spine, lifting up towards the sternum. So it's our second banda, and then our chin drawing in and crown up. Just feeling the energy, being able to pull through the body in and out as you breathe deep diaphragmic breaths. And we'll hey, close Jamie, our eyes. Oh, you know what I'm going to put you? Um, mute you yeah, sitting. sorry, I forgot. It skips over to somebody's name, and I can't see you on my main screen. Got it. Mute. Oh, sorry. I forgot. All right. Back to where we were. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. Um, all right. Right back where we were. So as we stand nice and tall and feeling that energy moving in, just deep diaphragmic breathing. Deep cleansing breaths. In through our nose and out through our mouth for a couple rounds and then find your nostril breathing. And then when you're ready, just find that nostril breath. In through your nose and out through your nose. Feeling the expansion as you reach into the lobes of your lungs with your breathing. Maybe take your hands to your ribs so you can feel the ribs, feel the lungs expanding they expand outward they don't puff they expand outward as an expansion just feel that connection to the body allowing our exhale to come a little longer than our inhale We want good lung function. So just go ahead and tap at your lungs. You want to tap that. I'm just going to break up anything that could be in there. So I heard something with the virus. But the most important thing, which I thought was really interesting, is you don't lay down with it. Just like in life. You're not going to lay down and let life defeat you. You're going to overcome. And just like especially with the respiratory, it's really crucial that you take care of yourself by keeping yourself upright and moving. We want healthy lungs. So it's really optimal at this time to make sure we're taking care of ourselves the best that we can and be mindful of our lung health, our breathing. And so maybe massage your lungs, just squeeze and massage. It's that internal massage to your lungs. They're going, oh, hello, that's so nice. I like that. <laughs> okay. And then bring your hands to prayer at heart center. That little self-love you just gave to yourself by squeezing those lungs. Just set that intention that you are healthy. That mantra, I am healthy, I am radiant, and I am whole. I am safe, I am loved, and I am protected. And with that intention, with open hearts, as we move energetically on our mat, let's go ahead and begin with humility and respect. Lifting arms all the way up, find length through the spine, exhale, fold. Move those knees, lift those heels, shake your head, find that movement. So our first fold with our head hanging, just feel the body lengthening as the spine wakes up, the back of your legs and your hamstrings, the blood flows to the brain. And then center, hold it. Lift up halfway, lengthen through the spine, engaging navel to spine, lifting that tailbone up, and then exhale, fold. And we're gonna step it back downward, facing dog. 
We want to starfish our hands nice and wide, fingers spread, suction cup your hands, fingers grip the mat. The knife at your hands kisses the floor, arms are long, tailbone's high, spine is long. Lengthen those legs, lifting those heels, squatting those thighs as you get a little deeper and lengthening. Then you can slowly straighten those legs plus those heels to your mat. Sipping those toes towards your knees, knees towards your hips, hips towards your ribs, ears and elbows side by side. And then begin to pedal it out, shake your head. Keeping that breath in through the nose and out through the nose. You can connect to that OIG breath, that audible toning, that vibration through the back of your throat. And center hold. And then you're just gonna rock it out, plank pose. Shoulders and wrists line up, long spine. If you need to modify, find your knees with a long spine. Again, keeping those fingers gripping, suction cup in those hands, rounding into your upper back, tucking the pelvis, zipping through the thighs. Feeling that activation without swaying in your back. So keep those hips elevated without your booty up in the air. So it's a fine place without that sway, without that lift. It's an even playing field as if you just have a long line across your back. And then just rock yourself forward and back. And your last one, shift your weight forward, hold. Feel the core activating and that stability really press and round. Well, allow yourself to sink and then lift your hips downward, facing dog. And just a couple times, flow it out, bring it out, plank pose. Lift your hips downward, facing dog. Roll it up, plank pose. Lift your hips downward, facing dog. Plank pose. And downward facing dog, hold. Find your footing, find your lengthening, deepening into your down dog. And then take your right foot, kick it into the air, center your hips, flex your heels, toes towards your mat. Lift that leg a little bit higher and just little pulses to activate the leg. Again, keeping those hips centered, ears and elbows side by side, long spine, long arms, long legs. Navel in, breathing in, breathing out. You got four, you got three, you got two. Lift it up and then slowly bring it down. Tap the floor and lift it up. Tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift. Tap and lift, tap and lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Again, keeping hips centered, lower down, lift it up, breathe in, breathe out. And eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and your last one, lift it up, bend that knee, stack your hip. Keep that foot flexed and then press back with little pulses. Just press back as that knee is bent, hips are stacked. Press that foot back as if you're gonna try to kick out towards the back, pressing against a wall or whatever's behind you. Kind of reaching that foot back as if you can touch it. Those hips are stacked, knee is high. To the best of your ability, again, this is your personal practice. If you need to modify, come kneeling. You can always drop to a knee and keep those hips back and press it back. And press, and press, and press. In eight, in seven, in six, in five, in four, in three, in two, press. Hold it. Now bring that leg, kick it out to the side and hold it. Now kick it back behind you and then out to the side. Kick it back behind you, and then out to the side. Kick it behind you, and then out side body. Kick it behind, and out to the side. Again, you're down dog or kneeling. Kick it back to the side. Kick it back to the side. Four more, kick it back to the side. Kick it back to the side, two more, kick it back, to the side, kick it back, to the side, 
and then let this straight up center that hip, bring that leg through, drop to your back knee, press into your hips. So make sure your front knee and ankle line up. Do not allow this knee to jet over your toes. You can flatten that back foot, press into your hips. Maybe just press in little pulses for a minute and then center yourself down and hold. Point that chest forward, breathe in, breathe out. And then you're gonna kickstand that back, leg straighten your right leg, expand into side gate. And prep to come to side plank. Come down kneeling side plank. Take your right leg, kick it up, flex your heel, and little pulses. Shoulders are stacked. Gaze is up. Keep that leg lined up. That kneeling left leg, knee and hip line up. That arm is high to the sky. Now point your toe, make little circles. Little circles. Little circles. And then reverse it other direction. Little circles. And then lengthen, hold it, tap that floor and lift. Tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift. Bigger movement, tap and lift. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Tap, 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 tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift it up, hold it. Place that hand behind your head. And then you're going to pull that knee up towards your elbow. And then press it back. Pull it up. Press it back, pull it up, press it back. Pull that knee up. Keep those shoulders stacked. Pull the knee up. Knee up, knee up. Pull it, extend it, press, press. Keep that knee high, keep that foot aligned with that hip as you lengthen out, point that toe for eight more, seven more, six, five, four, three, two and your last one lengthen that leg reach that arm up and then cartwheel those arms all the way up and over into reverse side gate extend that right arm down that right leg gaze up through your left armpit reach that left arm up overhead lengthen through the side body and then pivot yourself around keep that right leg straight pivot those legs forward right legs forward reach those fingertips forward to press your hip back Lengthen in that leg, forehead down. Take a breath, big inhale, big exhale. Then lunge it up forward, runner's lunge and little pulse. Pulse in, little thighs, pulsing into those thighs. Little thigh activation there. As you deepen in, feel that lengthening and that strengthening happening in unity. Press in, press in. and hold and then we're going to take that leg kick it up and then drop it down rock it out plank pose elbows tuck in chaturanga slowly shoulder blades down hover your hands cobra pose reach those hands up behind you little pulses in the air press up squeeze in your scaps Lift the torso, glue your toes to the mat. Zip through your thighs. Engaging through that pelvic floor. Lift a little higher, press those hips down. Long spine. And then press those palms in and reach those palms inward as you reach in, reach in, reach in. In eight, in seven, in six, in five, in four, in three, in two, Reach and hold. Lift those arms a little harder. Now lift your legs. Lift up, hold. Lotus pose. Look, it's hold, hold, hold. And then release it. Hands come down. Curl the toes. Push up. Downward facing dog. Take a big inhale, big exhale. Take the left leg. Center your hip. Lift it high to the sky. Flexing that heel. Toes towards your mat. Lift that leg a little higher, hold it, activate it. Arms are long, legs are long, spine is long. Navel in, then tap the toe to the mat and lift it up. Tap it down, lift it up. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Be mindful as we breathe with emotion. 
staying connected within. Lift, 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 and lift. For eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two. Last one, lift it up, hold it. Little pulses, little pulses, little pulses. Keep those toes towards the mat. Hips centered. Pulse, 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 pulse for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two. Bend your knees, stack your hip, and then press that foot back. Press it back. Press. Press as those hips are stacked. Knee is high. Arms are long. Press it back. Again, if you need to modify at any time and find a knee, you're always welcome to be on that knee. This is your practice. Honor where your body's able to work with care, with love and compassion. Dig deeper where you're able, modify where needed. In eight, in seven, in six, in five, in four, in three, in two, press it back, hold it. Now take that leg, kick it out to the side body. Hold it. And then press it back behind you, kick it up high. Then out to the side, then up behind you, kick it, and then out to the side, up behind, out to the side, up behind, into the side, in behind, to the side, in behind, to the side, in behind, to the side, in behind. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and your last one, kick it up, and then bring it all the way through, drop to your back knee. Walk those toes forward, make sure the knee and ankle stay in alignment, pull your chest forward, fingers down, flatten that back toes. Those back toes, press them down. Press in that hip. Maybe press in with little pulses and then hold it as you deepen in. Hold and breathe. And then kickstand that back leg out, lift up kneeling, side gate. And then we're gonna kickstand those arms down so you can hold yourself with that right arm as left arms up and you're kickstand the leg out and little pulses, flexing that heel, little pulse. Left arm to the sky, right hand is down, that left leg is lifting, little pulse, little pulse, little pulse. Now point your toes and make little circles in one direction. Little circles, one direction, and four, and three, and two, and reverse, 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 and four, and three, and two, and hold it, lengthen that leg, tap the floor, lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, 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 for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, three, two, one, lift it up, place those fingers out of the sky behind your head and pull that knee up and press it out. Pull the left knee up towards the left elbow and press it up and press it back. Press it up, pull it up. Try to keep that ankle aligned with your hip the best of your ability and press, and press, and press, and press. Lift, lift, lift the knee, lift the knee, extend the leg, pull it in, hang in there for four, for three, for two, last one, lengthen, place that foot down, and then cartwheel yourself up to reverse gate pose. Lengthen that left arm down the left leg, gaze up through your right armpit, take a breath, deepen down, and then keep the left leg straight, pivot yourself around, hands come down. Press your tailbone back, walk those fingers forward, Forehead comes down. And then come into that runner's runs, nice and low, little pulses. 
deepening, lengthening, feeling the impact within that we make as we are mindful through our practice, setting our intentions. We work deep. So we're efficient in our yoga practice, being efficient and gaining length and strength, endurance, stamina, clarity, peace, joy, love. Feel all of these things happening in unity as you hold it. Now take that leg, kick it high to the sky, and then bring that foot down, bring it out to plank. Slowly elbows tuck in, come all the way down Cobra Pose. Shoulder blades down and back. Hover your hands, lift the chest, glue the toes to your mat. Zip through your thighs, reach those arms back, and little pulses up. Pulse, 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 pulse. Chest is active, lift in eight, in seven, in six, in five, in four, in three, in two. Rotate those palms inward and press in. Lift those arms a little higher. Press in, press in, press in, press in. Press, press, press. Breathe, lift your chest, shoulder blades down and back. In eight, in seven, in six, in five, in four, in three, and two, reach back, lift the arms, lift the legs, lift the chest, lift the thighs, breathe. Don't hold your breath. Lift, 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 hold, 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 and then release it. Curl those toes, press up, downward, facing dog. And then come to your knees, come kneeling. If you want, you can press onto those toes to work in a little stretching in those toes. We're gonna work in some mudras to guide the energy flow to specific areas of our brain. We wanna increase the prana, that life force, that breathing. So the mudra we're doing is the vayu mudra for air. Um, so what we're doing is taking our thumbs and you're gonna place it on top of your index finger. So take that thumb on top of your index finger. The other three fingers are nice and long. So you can sit back into those heels Feel those toes curled and place those palms up onto your knees or thighs. This is too much pressure on your toes. You can always uncurl them, but it's a nice little stretch for them. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. Draw our shoulders down and deep UIG breath. Cleansing breath in through our nose, out through our mouth first. And now find that UIG breath little reset when we do that cleansing breath. So just bring our present moment awareness here with our breathing. And as we hold this mudra, this helps bring control through our restlessness. Very easy to be restless as we are drawn into our homes at this time. So we can always come to this mudra to shift our energy, guiding it into stillness, releasing nervousness, harmonizing the natural energies within the body to be restored, to relax with an uneasy, steady mind. And then release the mudra. We'll use it throughout our practice. Place our hands down, uncurl those toes, maybe wiggle those piggies, and then come right back to your downward facing dog. Lift up onto those heels, gaze between your hands, little pulses into your thighs. As you gaze in between your hands, grip with those hands, pulse into those thighs, heels are up, squat nice and deep. This is your prep to either step or hop to the top of your mat. Take a big inhale, lift, find your chair, hold in your chair. So long spines. So as we sit deep, we want to make sure our knees are not jetting over our toes. We want to push up our back, but keep our spine long with the pelvis rolled under. So sit deep, roll the pelvis, reach the arms up, shoulder blades down and back. Feel the activation in your thighs, in your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, your calves. Everything's active. Torso stability, navel to spine. And a big inhale through your nose, big exhale through your mouth. Good. I get a big clearing breath as we unite back with that UIG breath. As we're here in our chair, we're going to hold here for about a minute. 
So if you want to come back to that um, mudra that we are doing with our thumb on our fingers, you can. So you reach those arms on up, palms in, hold and breathe, drawing that energy inward, point it downward with the breath through the body. Feel calm. To feel peace. Feel harmony. Drop another inch in that chair. Legs begin to shake and quiver. If you're not there, maybe drop a little deeper. Get to that point where you're at your edge. You're shaking. Body's shaking, but the mind is overcoming. It's steady. You're breathing. You're transcending. And then our physical practice works us energetically on the outside to really help us inwardly. So now we can really take what we're kneeling to deal with on the inside and transmute that to experience bliss. Hang in there. If you got another inch to drop, drop it. Hang in there, squeeze. Feel that fire, hold, breathe. And then bring those hands, prayer, heart center. Lift up nice and tall. Take a big inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step back downward, facing dog. Roll it out to plank, elbows tuck in. Shift your weight forward. Chaturanga slowly, shoulders, elbows line up. Long spine, if you need your knees, find it. And then roll upward, facing dog, kneeling, or pop off those knees. Really press in, round in your back. Draw the shoulders down and back, long spine. And then push up is an option, or just press back, downward dog. Lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair, lift. Fold, dynamic movement, lengthening, deepening, stepping back, downward facing dog. Bring it out to plank. Chaturanga slowly, maintain the integrity, flip it up, forward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift the heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Lift, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back. Downward, facing dog. Roll it out to plank. Really press in, round, shift your weight forward. Chatter on it slowly, hover, hold it, and then flip those toes upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Take that right leg, kick it up. Breathe in, breathe out, and then take that leg, breathe it through. Warrior one, back, heel down, lift the torso, reach the arms, deepen in. Check in, make sure everything's where it belongs. Ankles line up, front toes forward. Got that clock around, it's 12 o'clock. Right foot, 11.30, back foot, knife edge of that foot, press it to the floor, kiss it down, lunge and as the torso and hips rotate forward, what you don't want to do is sink so far down, you're pinching off into this hip socket. So stay up and centered. Reach those arms and shoulders are down and back. Smile. It's a happy day because we choose to make it happy. All right, so sit a little deeper. Breathe in, breathe out. Take this opportunity in this moment. Again, find the air value, the thumbs over that index finger, reach those arms up. This is our mudra for our practice today. Letting go of any nervousness, unsteadiness, restlessness that we can build up through being home. Letting that go and embracing. As we're peeling away the layers within us through our practice, peel away what no longer serves us little sheaths that we, sheaths of uh, encasements we place around our soul for protect, we think it's protection, 
but it's really just holding us back. Just let it all go. You, know, you don't have to remember what it is. Just acknowledge there's something there and set the intention to release. In this powerful warriors, bring your hands prayer to heart center. You're going to lift it out, jetting, lifting that back toe up, jet into this front thigh, pull your chest forward, very light on that back leg, pull a lot of energy into that front right thigh, hands are prayer. You're going to lift out, arms out, hold, expand the chest, pull it forward, expand, reach, and then we're going to jet, lift that back toe up, reach those palms together, warrior three, long spine. Hold and breathe. If you need to have your hands at heart center, you can for modification. If you need to keep that back toe on the mat for modification, you can. Honor where you're working. Then expand those arms right back out. Scapula toward the pressure. Squeeze, lift, expand. Pull that knee up, the left knee. Hands come prayer. So that left knee is up. Open up that hip and find tree. So wherever you find your tree, I prefer you not to use your hands for the work to pull your leg up. Cause it's easy, right? We want to use the muscle. What you don't want to do is put pressure on your knee. So your foot's either above your knee or below your knee or your toes can be on your mat. Hold and breathe. Now find your branches. Remember our feet. In the beginning of practice, I say we rise up and down really work on those feet. We worked on those toes before cause this is our foundation. Our feet matter to us. So really stand tall as we're grounded in our tree pose, just like a tree, it's unwavering. The wind blows, the storm comes, but it stays tall. It stays tall in their truth. And that's us. We're gonna stay tall in our truth, no matter what we're going through. This bliss is our divine essence. When we stay connected to the divine, we know, we feel that love, that protection. And we don't waver from our truth. So stay here in your chair, in your tree as you hold, engaging, engaging that standing leg, squeezing through the thigh, through the glute, engaging navel to spine, arms are out wide, shoulders are down, feel the body active. And then go ahead and bring your hands prayer to heart center. Lift that knee up and you're going to kick it right back, nice and deep where we started into this deep low lunge, reach those arms right back up and then pivot yourself around to the back, warrior one. Warrior one to the back, nice and deep. Bring your hands prayer and then opposite elbow, opposite knee. Keeping that back heel down as you rotate around. Keep that front knee and ankle lined up. Press in, deepen, feel that revolution. So again, ringing out those lungs. We want clean lungs, healthy function. Lunge a little deeper in as you breathe in and out. Cleansing any impurities within the tummy, within our immune system. We want clean, strong immunity. So hold and breathe. And then place your hands down. Lunge nice and deep. So this left knee, I want you to pull it in to your left form as if you're going into crow. And then you were going to slowly pivot yourself down onto your crown. Walk that right foot up. So you can just hold right here. This is your inversion. So you're upside down as if you're on a tripod. Knees on, left knees on your left forearm. Now, if you want to bring your right leg up, you can bring that right leg up. Just an option. If you want to switch your legs, you can bring the left leg up and switch, tap your knee to the right forearm and then switch back or you just hold where you are upside down one toe on the mat one foot on that forearm or you can have both toes on your mat if you need to and if you're up in the air slowly bring it down and then wherever you are pull that leg back pull both legs back pull up and off and upward facing dog and then push up downward facing dog Take your right leg, kick it up. Bring it through, cartwheel his arms, warrior two, center your hips. Lunge deep. 
right toes are forward. Now the back of your mat has become the front of your mat. Lunge deep into that thigh, centering our hips. So no sassiness in our warrior two. Sassy is for triangle. Warrior two is centered. So reach those arms out, expand through the heart center, deepen down. That back foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat. As you deepen in, expand through that heart center. Become showing up on our mats with open hearts to take in all the goodness our practice has to offer us. As we transcend, breaking free from encasements, peeling away the layers that no longer serve us. As we gain strength, we get more flexible, and not just in our physical essence, but in our mental and our spiritual essence, building more stamina and endurance in both the mind, the body, and the spirit. Sit a little deeper and then take that arm, reach it up to reverse. Deepen down, arm lengthens, reach up and over. Hold and breathe, hold, 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 breathe. Feel the joy within you. Smile. Legs are shaking, they're on fire. And you're loving it. You got this. It's all perception. Get a little deeper. Come on, breathe through it. You got this. And then send yourself goddess pose. Turn those toes out. Rock side to side. Maybe lift those toes. Lift those heels now. Alternate lifts in those heels. In the center, hold it nice and deep. Little pulse, little pulse. Feel yourself getting deeper. Knees and ankles line up. Keep the chest upright. Roll the pelvis under. Hands prayer. Again, finding that air vayu um, mudra. Thumb over top the index. Reach those arms up and then expand them out, palms up. Receiving all the goodness. Lift the heels, sit a little deeper. Hold, drop another inch, keeping navel in. Keeping those bandhas active, so that pelvic floor, the navel, the chin. As we hold in that mudra, breathing deep diaphragmic breaths. Connecting to that uig breath. As you feel the air moving through the lungs, cleansing, dispensing anything that no longer serves us through our heart, through our mind, and through our spirit. Again, body starts to shake. We're holding here for about a minute. Hang in there. This is really about getting deep within ourselves to overcome. Letting go of any restlessness, any uneasiness, find steadiness, calmness, and harmony with the breath, and clarity in the mind, being restored in our spirit as we're connected to the divine. Drop another inch. And four, three, two, lift arms all the way up, lengthen, and then pivot yourself around and find airplane. So those toes are forward, back heel slightly turns, as toes turn back out, and as palms reach back, lengthen your spine. Press those hips back, and then walk your hands down, forehead towards your knee. And then maybe step that back foot up a little bit, shorten your stance for pyramid. Now, as you're here and you bring your forehead towards your knee, both legs are straight. Imagine you're on a tightrope. Push those hips back. And if you want to reach those arms back, you can clasp your fingers around your back leg. It's just an option. You don't have to get all the way there. You can just touch your thigh. Find that place that works for you. Again, both legs are straight as possible. And then slowly release, place those hands down and come to that runner's lunge. Widen that stance and pulse into those thighs. Pulse in, pulse in. And then you're gonna take that back leg and you're gonna step it up standing, split. Forehead towards your knee. 
And then I want you to pull that knee down, squat into that thigh, and then kick that leg up. Squat deep, kick it up, squat deep, kick it up, squat deep, and kick, squat, kick, squat, kick, squat, kick, squat and kick. Eight more, seven more, six more, five, four, three, two, last one, kick it up, kick it high. If you want to place your hands to your ankles, you can for that standing split. Forehead towards your knee, leg as high as you can. If you want to work on getting that leg higher, keeping those hands down, forehead closer, kicking that leg up, whatever works for you here. And then bring both hands to your mat. Step it back nice and deep. Take that left leg, kick it high to the sky. And then pull it in plank pose, knee and heart center. Kick it up, then pull it out wide to your elbow. And then pull it up, kick it up. Crisscross it, dropping that hip, kick it up, pull it in heart center, kick it up out wide, kick it up, crisscross, kick it up, pull it heart center, kick it up out wide, kick it up, crisscross, kick it up, and then chaturanga upward facing dog. Woo! Good job. Press, press, hold. And then push up, downward facing dog. Woo, hallelujah. Got that side done. Now we got the other side. Balance it all out. Hold and breathe. Take your left leg, kick it high, stack your hip. Lift that knee a little higher, open it up. And then bring it through warrior one. Lift up. Press in and deepen. Again, 12 o'clock big toe, about 1.30 or back big toe. Kiss that edge of your foot to the floor on that back side. As you lunge deep, rotate those hips, shoulders, chest, entire torso towards the front without crunching down. So not leaning your chest forward, staying upright. Press in. Again, gain, if you want to utilize the benefits of the mudra. It's suggested that you do this mudra 45 minutes to really obtain the full benefit. Or you could do three 15 minute segments throughout the day. We're utilizing it throughout our practice today to draw in those energetic effects. Breathe deeper, cleaner breaths, full breaths, deep into the lobes of the lungs. Closing our eyes. And we feel that sensation of the body within. When we close our eyes, it draws our attention within. So we work on balancing. We redirect our energy, not just from the physical, but to the inner. And as the arms are spread nice and long, bring those hands to prayer. Press your chest forward. And then roll that back heel up, press into those toes, press into this front thigh, hold. And then as you press into this front thigh, feel it activating, navel to spine, reach those arms out, squeeze into your back, long wings. Press, press, press. And then we're going to slowly, energetically step up, being mindful as you slowly bring yourself around to Virabhadrasana three. Stand in warrior three, lengthening. Again, at any time you need your hands at prayer heart center, you can. If you need that back toe for assistance on the mat, you can <clears throat> honor your practice today. Make the letter T with your body for able. Find a little more length if you're able. And then slowly pull yourself up. That knee comes up. Knee comes high, working on tree pose. So open the hip up. Stack your Foot either above your knee or below your knee. Or your toes can kiss to the floor at your ankle. Once you're here, focus that distri, that focal point, finding balance, expanding those wings, those arms, those branches. We're grounded, we're rooted in our truth, really connected to the divine. 
feeling loved and protected, feeling supported and hopeful. Ooh. And then slowly bring your hands in, lift that knee and slowly pivot yourself back nice and controlled. Once it nice and deep where we start to expand those wings out, press into that front thigh and then pivot yourself around warrior one to the back. Lunge nice and deep in, check in, make sure everything's where it belongs, then rotate revolved, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Pivot around nice and deep, hold. Again, deep cleansing breaths as we wring out those internal organs, breathing out through the lungs, any toxins purifying our system, through our gut, purifying through engaging in more active, healthy immune system through our practice. And then slowly bring your hands down to the mat. I want you to walk that foot a little bit to the side of the right side and pull that knee on top of that forearm. Pivot your weight forward and drop your crown down as you slowly pivot yourself up. You're in a tripod stance with your arms, that right knee's on that forearm, that left leg's back. If you need both toes to the mat, you can. If you can pull that right toe up, if you can bring that left leg, lift it up. And that tripod headstand version. If you want to alternate those legs, you just switch, bring the right knee up, and then switch to the left. If you're switching, alternating, come back to the right. If you're just holding and lengthening onto that crown, working in tripod, stay where you are. And if you're upside down and holding, we are all going to meet our toes back. Step it back and then walk yourself upward facing dog. Hop off that crown, upward facing dog. Push up, downward. Facing dog. Take that left leg, kick it up. Bring it through, warrior two. Open up. Center and deepen down. Center those hips, check in. Maintain the integrity of the pose as those front toes are now our left leg. And they're forward, back foot's parallel to the back edge of your mat. Hips are centered, deepen into that front thigh. Expand to that heart center as we engage the air value mudra. Thumb on top of that index. Reach those arms up, expand out, palms up. Receiving the messages of energy that is flowing through our mudra, which is controlling the nervousness. As we find steadiness, calmness. Letting go of any restlessness we may have. Just drawing our energy into the here and now, being present, being calm, finding harmony. Lunge a little deeper in that front thigh. Feel that thigh active. Hold, breathe. And then take that front hand, lift all the way up, stretch and lengthen, deepen into the front thigh. And then open up goddess pose. Center your hips, rock, hands come out. Rock, rock, rock. Center it, center it, rock it, rock it. Toes are out. And then maybe lift those toes. Let, I mean, lift the heels now, lift the heels. Bring those arms back out if you choose. And then center, hold, deep and hold. Again, find that mudra, if you lost it, get it back. Hold and breathe. Sit a little deeper, heels are up, spine is long. Pelvic floor bonded lifting, engagement, lifting through the sphincters. That perineum is active, navel to the spine, pressing up towards the sternum as your shoulders are down, drawing the chin in, breathing that air, that prana life force in and out. Feeling recharged, reset. We sit a little deeper, 
Feel the legs shaking. You're holding it, you're overcoming it. We have present moment awareness. We have mindfulness. We have good energy flowing. Clear minds, happy hearts. You're experiencing bliss right here now. And four, and three, and two. Lift up, pivot those toes to the front, rotate around, find airplane. Press those wings back, press your chest forward, both legs straight. And then we're gonna work ourselves towards pyramids. We're pressing those hips, we're accentuating backwards. Hands come down, take a little step up to shorten that stature that we have. As you press those hips continuously back, lengthen in those legs, pull your forehead down, and you can walk those hands back and clasp at the back of your left thigh. You can walk your hands down to your calf if you're able to reach, but you wanna make sure as if you're on a tightrope, so your ankles are in alignment. That back foot is just slightly turned out as you bring your forehead towards your knee, both legs straight. And then release it down. Come into that nice deep lunge, widen that stance, and then press in. Press in nice and deep. And then I want you to take that leg and I want you to kick it step it up and then you're going to pull your left knee and squat into that right thigh and kick it up squat and kick squat and kick squat kick squat kick right leg squats left leg kicks feel that fire kick it up breathe in breathe out feel it encompassed in that blissful state And four, and three, and two, and your last one, kick it up, and then standing split. So get that leg as high as you can, forehead to your knee. So if you really want to work on getting that leg higher, you can. You want to work on getting that knee closer towards your forehead, you can. If you want to balance, then take your hands to your ankles. So several options for you to work today. Try to grip with your toes, keep them spread wide for a nice foundation. Breathe. And then drop that back leg down, lunge deep, and then take that leg, kick it up. And then pull it into your heart center. Play. And then kick it up. And then out wide to the elbow, kick it up. And then crisscross that knee, opposite elbow, dropping that hip, kick it up two more. Pull that knee in heart center, kick it up out wide kick it up bring it cross kick it up one more pull it in kick it up out wide kick it up crisscross kick it up and chaturanga upward facing dog push up downward facing dog drop to your forearms for dolphin pose so in your dolphin, if you want to check to make sure you're where you need to be, drop to your knees, take your hands and just hug the outsides of your elbows. This is your foundation. Keep your shoulders and elbows lined up. Then you can bring your hands out and lift your tailbone to the sky. Your head just hangs in the middle, not taking your crown to the mat. Walk your feet up. Then we're gonna take our knees, drop them towards the mat, don't touch, just hover, and then extend that tailbone up. Drop, hover, and then tailbone up, press those heels back. Drop, hover, gaze forward, press those heels down. Drop, hover, hold, forearms and elbows line up, hold, and then press the tailbone up, press those heels down, hold. A couple more, hover those knees, forearms and elbows line up, kick the tailbone up to the sky, press those heels back. Two more, hover, then press it back, hover, then press it back, 
How about one more? Because it feels so good. Hover, press it back. Hold, 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 hold. Now walk your feet out and find plank pose. Shoulders and elbows line up. Press in, round in the upper back. You're going to take the right hand, rotate it inward. You're going to pivot forearm, side plank, reach the left arm up. Take that top leg, lift it high to the sky the best that you can. That arm's up, that leg's up. If you're able to take a yogi toe hold around your toe, you can take a toe hold around your toe and lift. Just an option. Release wherever you are. Bring it back center, forearm plank. Rotate, other side. Left forearm comes in. Hip stack, shoulder and elbow stack. Reach the right arm up. You can stay here. You can lift that top leg as high as you can. You can also find a toe grip and balance and hold and breathe. Gaze is up, forearm balance, side plank, hold and breathe. And then slowly release it, bring it back center and hold. Tuck that pelvis under, long spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Then four, three, two, you're gonna roll right back, side plank, right side. Open up. Again, lift that leg. It's wherever you can get that leg. Again, if you can find a yogi toe hold, find it, hold it, breathe through it. Then release it, bring it center, forearm hold, one more time, left side, reach it up, hold, keep that lift, hip lifted, take that top right leg, lift it, lift it, if you're able to take a yogi toe hold, find it, there's options, don't give up, hang in there, and then release it, bring it center, hold, hang in there, shift your way forward, come all the way down. Reach your arms out. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Lift. So left arm, right leg. Lift it up. Then release, switch. Lift. 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 Four. Thank you, sweetie. Three. Two, and your last one, and then pick up your pace in little swims. Kick, 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 little flutters, kick. Lift your chest, lift your thighs, do the best that you can. Lengthen, breathe, don't hold your breath. In four, in three, in two, and your last one, place your hands down, press it back, child's pose. And then slowly round it out. Curl your toes. Downward facing dog. You're going to take a squat. You're going to hop through and land onto your bottom. Have a seat onto your bottom. Lift your legs. Boat pose. So however you get there, find your boat. So as you're here, hands under your knees. You want a long spine. So sit on that tailbone nice and tall. You want to bring your hands prayer. We're going to rotate. Keeping those hands prayer at our heart center, you want to rotate the torso. Pull those elbows down to your side, down to the side. What you don't want is to move your hands. This does nothing. Hands at the heart, torso moves. Elbows dig back. Maybe tap the mat with those elbows. In eight, in seven, in six, in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Let's hold. Reach those arms if you can. If you need those assistance with your hands behind your back, find it. You can straighten those legs. Straighten your legs. Lift, lengthen. Shoulders down. Hold. And then curl yourself in. Tuck like a ball. Place your hands under your knees. What we don't want is our legs doing this. So we know flapping. We're going to roll like a ball. Tuck everything in. Massage the spine in the back of your lungs. So rock back. Keep your knees tucked in towards your bottom. Rock up, balance and then rock it back, don't swing your legs. When you rock back, don't hit your head. So just to the shoulders, balance on those sit bones. 
back and forth. Control, be pre precision. If you fall over, it's okay. Just be mindful that you're being safe where you're working. About four more. Do a little internal massage to the lungs, to the kidneys, keeping the body healthy. And your last one, and let's up hold. Place those feet down, hands back, lengthen your legs, sit tall, reach the arms up and exhale, fold. Hinging at your hips, press your tailbone back, pull your chest forward, take a big inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen. Maybe rock those hips side to side, pull your chest a little further forward, get a little deeper down. Let's go ahead and lift up. Take your feet wide. We're going to pull our chest through. So sit tall up onto those sit bones. Pull your chest through. Walk your hands down onto those forearms. As you pull it through, press the tailbone back. If you can't get to your forearms, it's okay. If you're up here, it's okay. It's really about accentuating and elongating. So really pressing the tailbone back as you reach and pull your chest forward. Pull it forward. Come down. Breathe. And then walk yourself around to your right leg and lengthen down and hold. And then slowly lift up and walk to the other side. Lengthen again. Press that hip back. Reach that chest forward. Exhale down and fold. Make sure you're still breathing, not holding the breath. Where there's breath, there's life. We're keeping that life more abundant now more than ever. Stay healthy and whole happy and then lift up we're going to come back to the other side but this time we're going to crisscross those arms so as you crisscross the right arm comes underneath the left arm comes up and over and over maybe reach for those toes if you can just an option And then slowly lift yourself up. And again, not through those arms. So take the left arm under, right arm comes up, and hinge it over. And then slowly lift it up. And we're going to one more time walk it through the center. And maybe this time, if you're on your forearms, maybe you can walk yourself out and bring your chest a little further out onto the floor, onto your mat, wherever you are. So widen your legs, maybe a little deeper. Really challenge yourself to get out of that comfort zone. It's easy to stay comfortable. You want to get more depth, more length, more flexibility, more stamina, endurance, more strength. Our complete mind, body, spirit system. And that takes pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone. And then slowly walk your hands right back up. Come seated in to Lotus. I want you to take your right hand or left hand to your right knee, pivot around, gaze behind you. I'm going to switch other side, right hand to left knee. And then come center for our final, we are going to come into an alternating nostril breathing. 
So this is really good for a lung function, um, reduces stress, again, calms the mind, recess the parasympathetic nervous system. You can utilize this any time that you need to, but we're going to take our left hand and place it down onto our knee. Our right hand is going to thumb comes to your right nostril. Your mid, your index finger comes at your third eye and your ring finger or your middle finger and your ring finger come to your left nostril. And that pinky finger just kind of hangs out there. So you're going to press with your right, with your right thumb onto your right nostril. Take a big inhale through your left nostril. Block off the left and open up the right and exhale out. Now inhale through the right, block it off, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, block it off, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right, block it off, exhale left. Inhale left, block it off, exhale right. Inhale right, block it off, exhale left. Inhale left, block it off, exhale right. Inhale right. Block it off, exhale left. Inhale left. Block it off, exhale right. Inhale right. Block it off, exhale left. One more time. Inhale. Block it off, exhale right. Inhale right. Block up, exhale left. And then come the normal breathing. Notice as the observer how you feel different from the beginning of your practice to now. Without judgment or com really comparing. It's just an observation. So no judgment here. Just compassion and awareness. with both palms upward onto our knees. Our practice has so much to offer us and if we are open to receive it. So my prayer is that we are all open to receive the bounty of blessings that our yoga practice has to offer us as we utilize the tools given through the mudras and the breath work, the energetic posture movements, that we can take our practice from on, as we practice on our mats, off into our day-to-day -day living. that we can experience bliss manifesting heaven on earth in our here and now. And let's go ahead and bring our hands to heart center. And with a big inhale, lift arms all the way up, one for the mind. Exhale, one for the body. Exhale, and one for the spirit. Exhale. And namaste. Rock, have an amazing day. Mwah! Love to all.